Next, we have the pancreas. It's an elongated organ found at the back of the stomach and it produces pancreatic juice which neutralizes the acidity of the chyme before it goes to the large intestine. It also releases enzymes that help in the digestion of fats and proteins in the small intestine. So there are common ailments and disorders of the digestive system. So my experience then is as we grow old. Ako mas kinhubin pa tama experience tayo ni. So here are some common, ah, common <coughs> ailments and disorders of the digestive system. First is constipation, dyspepsia, peptic or stomach ulcer, gallstones, and fatty liver. First one is the constipation. So Kung constipated kita gani, nagasakit ang aton di ba nga chan? Kaya do, do kadamog ito ang unod. So, it's the most common disorder in the digestive system. A person suffering from the disorder will have an irregular and painful bowel movement, lack of fiber in the diet, insufficient water intake, lack of exercise, and irregular heating habits are causes of constipation. constipation meaning, kung muna sa example tao, ang sa picture, so, damo-damo, nagid nagagutok, no? So, kung kulang ka sa tubig, like sa fiber, ang muna sa katig ay pagwa. Constipated ka. So, how do you prevent this? You have to eat fruits and green leafy vegetables as prime sources of fiber. Kag, drink at least 8 glasses of water a day and exercise regularly. Next, indigestion or dyspepsia. So, it is a common disorder that is due to eating a lot of fatty and spicy foods, eating quickly and not chewing the food well. Its symptoms is discomfort in the stomach and being bloated. So, kung plakaon ka mo sang, kahangkag, mga tambok ng mga pagkaon, pwede ka mo magka, dyspepsia. So, if taken for granted, it may cause belching, nausea, and heartburn. To prevent dyspepsia, you should eat slowly and chew your food well. Avoid eating a lot of fatty and spicy foods too. So, kinangalan nyo nga usapon, gito nyo nga ginakaon, kaglikawan nyo gids ng matambok, kag makaangkahan ng mga pagkaon. Peptic or stomach ulcer. So, ulcer is characterized by having sores in the lining of the stomach or small intestine due to the production of too much acids in the stomach. Bacterial infection, stress, skipping meals, or not eating on time, and eating too much acidic foods are some probable cause of ulcer. So, ang common sa ating mga katubuan ta ulcer is gapagutom kita, di ba? So, mo nang gakatabo, naga, may mga gakubag-kubag na naga sa sulod sa stomach ta. So, kung pabayaan ta ni malala ni sa. So, those are the signs of stomach, stomach ulcer. So, a person suffering from this illness experiences nausea, belching, vomiting, and abdominal pain. So, nagasuka-suka kita. Nagatigab. Nagasuka. Kag ang... Kisa do ma... Akalabanan gid nagasuka kag nagin sakit gid ang chan. So, gallstones. So, ang muna sa tsura sa gall... Gall bladder ta kung puno sa gallstones. So, the formation of stones in the gallbladder is common to people who are fond of eating salty and high cholesterol foods. So, likawan taman yung patama kita sa mga asin-asin yung mga pagkaon. So, persons suspected of having gallstones experiences abnormal pain in the pain around the shoulder area. Open, or su open surgery or laparoscopic cholecystic to me are some invasive ways to remove gallstones. So, kinanglan yun sa isang surgery. So, likawan yung gitpala, hindi ka mo ma... Surgery. Fatty liver. Last, ang nagawang fatty liver. Fatty liver is an element of the digestive system wherein the liver is coated with fatty tissues. Belching, feeling of being bloated and abdominal pain are experienced by a person with fatty liver. So, a person who is fond of eating fatty foods is susceptible to this kind of illness. So, na siling kuliwat, likawan nyo gin magkaon sang matambok, kag maasin yung mga pagkaon, kag ang mga kangkahang. So, hindi nyo gin pagpatamaan. So, for your activity, answer in your book, page 77 to 78, ang cool down. Okay, so thank you for listening. Once again, and God bless.